Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, we're going to talk about user security. I'm going to show you how to force them to change their passwords every 30 days or 60 days or 90 days or whatever. And I wish it was this easy to get them to change deodorant. But that's a whole different video. All right, today's question comes from Marina in Arlington Heights, Illinois, one of my Platinum members. Marina says, I've been using your user level security tips in my database for some time now, and the higher ups at my company would like to know if it's possible to force users to change their password every 30 or 90 days or so. Thanks. Well, yes, of course, Marina, it's your database. You can do whatever you want with it. If you want to force them to change their passwords, force them to change their passwords. Me personally, I kind of think it's unnecessary to force users to change their passwords unless you're aware of some kind of a security breach, right? I mean, if your password's secure, your password's secure. Why make me change it? I don't know, but I'll show you how to do it. And we all know the higher ups aren't always the ones making the smart decisions. So it's, it's usually us tech people that are. But anyways, here we go. So before we get started, if you have not yet watched my user level security video, go watch this. It gives you simple tips for making security in your database. It's not perfect, but it's good enough for most office environments. I show you how to build a little logon form like this, right? Go watch this first and then come on back. And yes, this is a developer level video, which means we're going to be programming in VBA. So if you've never done any VBA before, go watch this video first. It's about 20 minutes long. It teaches you everything you need to know to get started. So go on, go watch those and then come on back. All right, I am going to head on over to the user level security page and down in the member section here, I'm going to download the database from that video. If you're a gold member, go right ahead and download it. If not, go watch this video and build that database. So I'm a gold member on my own site. I can grab the database. All right, let's open that database up. There it is. And it starts up locked. Now, in the other video, I show you how you can lock this down a little bit better, uh, making an ACCDE file, for example, so your users can't just do this. Right click design view. But that's how we can get into it, right? Okay. Since we want to be able to make them change their password, let's say every 30 days, we need a place to store that, right? So let's close this. Let's go into the user table here. All right, we got username and password. We need to add in here a date so we know when they last changed the password. Okay, so let's make it date changed. This will be a date. And I'm going to leave the default value blank. That way if, there, if it's null, if there's no value, or if this date is less than 30 days ago, then we can force them to change their password. So save that, close it. Now I'm going to make another form that I'm going to use that's going to have two password boxes on it, right? So password one, password two, they got a match. And then your password gets saved. Okay. So I've got another form very close to what I want. And that happens to be our logon form. So let's copy and paste that. And let's call this our password change F. All right, let's right click design view and make the access window a little bit bigger here. All right, that's a little bit better. Let's make this uh, like a dark blue. Let's just change the color a little bit. Maybe that. Okay. And um, we're going to make this password one and make this one password two. Let's change the names. This guy over here is gonna be password one. No space in here, right? Password one. And this guy will be password two. And this one has the input mask on it, right? Data, yep, input mask password. We'll just copy that, come back up here and put it on that one. So now they're both password fields, okay? And we'll change this button here so it's uh, update or whatever. All right, we'll come back. We're going to come back and work on this in a minute. So let's save this form, close it, and let's go into our logon form. Right click, design view. Let's take a look at our logon text. Right click, build event. That'll bring up our code builder. There we go. All right, so we got ID, we got password. We look up the username to get the ID in the table, right? We then look up the password, see if they match. Okay, and if we get down to this point, then we're successfully logged on. Right, right here, successful logon. Okay, all right, now after we set their temp var username, right, we're gonna write in here, we're gonna make 
make sure that their password isn't at least 30 days old. All right, so check for password uh, change requirement, whatever. All right, let's look up the date that they last changed their password. So we need a variable up here. Date changed as date. That can be the same name as the field in your table. That's fine, nothing wrong with that. And down here, what we're gonna do, we're gonna de-look up that value from the table. So date changed equals. Now, it could be null, right? Because if they if this is their first time logging on, we haven't given them that, so they gotta force change their password the first time. And this is also kind of nice too, because then you can just give them a temporary password and then they immediately have to have to put in a real one. That's kind of what I do on my website, although I don't force the user to change it if they want to keep that temp password fine. So this is going to be NZ null to zero, right? D lookup. And if you haven't used NZ or D lookup, I've got courses on those, videos on those on my website, YouTube channel, whatever. Go watch those. All right. If you're watching this, I assume you know all this stuff because we did it in the last video. What are we looking up? Date changed. Where are we getting it? User T. Right. Whenever I think of D lookup, I always think of the, you know, what do we want? You know, where are we getting it from? When do we want it right now? <laughs> Right? It's what do you want? Where are you getting it from? And then how do you want it? Right? Scrambled, over easy, whatever. What are your criteria? Username equals, and remember this is string, so it's got to be double, double quotes and then quotes. And then what is the user's username? You could either get it out of the text box there or still grab the temp bar. I like the temp bar. Right? Username. And then we got to close it up. Right? Nit, 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 nit. We got to put the close quotes on the end of the username. Okay, now that's the end of our D lookup. Comma, we got to take into consideration null values now. So if they don't give us, you know, if, if there is no date change, if it returns a null value, what value do you want to put in here? We'll just put something ridiculously old in here, like 1 1 1990. And yes, even though I use the ISO dates, right, year, month, day for my Windows settings and for everything else. For some reason, VBA doesn't like that. So note to access team, get on that. I want to use ISO dates in here. That's my Windows system setting. Urgh, it's annoying every time. Okay. That is going to do it for part one, folks. Tune in tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat channel for part two. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member, and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn access and you haven't tried my free access level one course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours. Go watch it.
And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.